So at this point we have um, we've actually got connections to the data which we can see under the data sources there are our connections but we haven't actually um, done the uh, done the correct connections anyway so let us uh, do that now so we're on the supplier screen we've gone to the browse screen um, we are going to move to just look I do tend to go on under this um, uh, under this mode here so items in fact it's this um, this is the bit that we need to change so we need to do to go on to suppliers so in we go with our suppliers now it's going to get really upset with us um, because it's looking for fields that just aren't there so um, I think If I if I actually work out the the this yeah, it's a fairly complicated formula that's in there, um, and it can be simplified somewhat because actually the ascended descending thing, you know, I'm not I'm not too sort of fussed about if I'm honest. Um, I'm just going to hit this drop down here because that's definitely going to not work. In fact, this whole thing's got really upset because. Um, it doesn't really know what to look for. So I'm going to jump onto this uh, under the entities, go onto there and just be absolutely sure about the names of the different bits and pieces. So they've got supplier, um, oh, you call it supplier name. Okay, fine. So jump back onto there and jump into here and go onto there and it's supplier name. This is one of the few bits where um, the, um, uh, in fact, that's where it's looking in. I think it's supplier supplier name I think we might get away with this maybe not maybe not okay never mind I am just going to do um, I'm going to get rid of this piece here and this piece here and not worry about any of that nonsense so it should actually pull us back some suppliers but because um, we're connecting to fields that don't get used um, then <laughs> it's not returning anything or rather fields that don't even exist because it says sample heading we don't have a field called sample heading so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do supplier name okay there's BT etc um, and I am going to do now we did have a field in here uh, that's life area cool life area life area good now that is what I was looking for so we do actually have three um, three items in there we can sort of tighten this up a little bit um, and that's that is that's connected up which is great um, and what we need to do on this uh, we need to just basically roll through all of these uh, so that it's everything's nicely connected up so I've gone to this new supplier screen which isn't connected to anything um, and I am just going to go to the edit form here it doesn't know what to look for so we're going to put in suppliers um, okay good and at this point it's happy but we haven't actually told it any fields um, so in that case what we need to tell it is well um, we need a supplier not interested in status a life area and I shouldn't really need um, I thought I clicked on supplier got life area but okay mysterious um, don't know really what's going on there so let's just move move you make you a little bit bigger there we are supplier name that's what we wanted because we definitely need you um, and I'm just going to jump back onto this um, entity as well just check uh, I've got primary name <coughs> as required so I don't actually think there's a great deal I can do with this primary name I think it's just so I think it's so important to the the way in which the whole thing functions that you just you just can't you know be without it so 
Um, I think that's a lesson learned. Maybe if I was to do this again, I would use the primary name. Um, but I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to pop in the primary name because it is a required field. Um, and I'm going to put the default. Um, it says parent default. So in theory, if we go on to here, we go on to that item there, uh, we don't actually have a default. Um, on here by the looks of things not by the looks of things so typically that parent default is is what drives that so I'm going to go into advanced unlock to change properties and instead of that doing um, being parent default I'm just going to put test because I do not intend to use this um, but it is a required field so um, I will live with it um, I think that well that's connected up that's okay um, and I will now come off there and go onto this documents screen which in theory will hold bits and pieces to do the documents now I'm going to do the same thing as earlier on um, and I'm just going to basically use um, oops that did not work uh, let's click on there and we need our items and we need to select on this and we need to do documents my documents so um and you can see that um well actually this this thing would have an image in theory so it's um if we just sort of pop through the different bits and pieces we've got here we've got title which is uh, created on which is not particularly useful to me and um, so the title will be something like um, mm, well, let's just put um, we might as well it doesn't really matter you just put supplier name uh, let's put supplier name in there I mean nothing's going to pop up anyway um, the image should be um, oops this item dot image don't think now this says entity image which is not what we want so um, so I was trying to um, tie things up here I've tied it to the my documents here on the images I've uh, tied it up to something called entity image which I'm kind of hoping is is this thing here because I can't think what else would it would, would be um, and I've got the supplier name and the primary name so uh, none of these are, are helped by the fact there's no data in there so eventually that will happen so and then I need a, a new or edit document which isn't attached to anything either so we'll kind of do data source my documents which is that um, and then we need to tell it the fields that we require which is uh, which is going to be interesting so I'm probably going a little bit quickly on, on this um, in fact whilst we're here um, we should, we'll, we'll have to do some more sort of tying up for us to really get this uh, absolutely correct. But uh, we'll get there in the end. Okay. Well, clearly we're going to need some fields in here. So let's go on to the properties pane. We're going to my documents, go to data. And then we're going to go with date document. Um, then we will go with... Uh, let's call it let's go it doesn't really matter what we go with um, supplier name and we're going to go with uh, let's see now we're going to go with I don't want primary name in as such let's pop it in just to see if it's a required field which of course it is um, and we will go with pop the image in there that's not a required field um, tap or click to add a picture interesting um so we'll see how that um, plays out and what else we've got supplier name don't want a status on there at all good 
Right, I think that's I think that's okay. Well, what I'll do is just quickly jump into this document field. We've got a primary name, supplier name, date, document. Uh, those are the required fields. And looking at this thing here, I just need to extend it out a little bit. Drop this down here, and then the way in which the date displays is is not very nice. So I will just go straight onto the advanced, unlock it, and I will do default date as um, I put text uh, that and then comma um, quote dd space mmm space yeah, yeah, yeah and should kind of hoping it'll be all right with that mm, let's see what happens um oh it's quite difficult because we've actually told it to fire up yet okay good um moving on to the view document um I don't know if that's a overkill because sometimes you can I think the I think the view document was really um one where you'd actually get a really good view of the image itself. So we'll see how that um we'll see how that works in due course. So what we've got now is we've got a number of screens and we have got the ability to uh, we have connected it up, but they definitely definitely won't work at this point in time so I think we've connected to the data um, I think that what we're going to do in the next session is sew up the screens um, so make that all work okay cheers guys thanks bye